happened to many of you. You call up to your family, checking on, on them. Tell them there was a bomb explosion in Karbala. They tell you, we are in Karbala, we never heard of it. So you may have news before they have news and they're in that city itself. Lacking all of these people, many of them had not seen Ali ibn Abi Talib. Many of them did not know who Ali ibn Abi Talib was if he was to enter. Therefore, many people thought that Ali ibn Abi Talib was the Mahdi. And this here continued and continued. The person they thought was the Mahdi would pass away, would be martyred, and then they would be disappointed. The person they believe in would be martyred, they would be disappointed. Even up until the time of Yusuf alayhi salam, ala nabina wa ala alihi afdhabu salatu wa salam, when he said there will come a prophet after me who will give you liberty. Many people claim to, Nabi, to be Nabiullah Musa, they are called the Musawiyya. Just how now we have people who claim to be Sahab al-Asr wa zaman and that time it happened as well. Why do they do this? Number one, many people are thirsty for the Imam. Similarly, how many of you are thirsty for the Imam? And anyone with any link, big or small, simple or complicated, with this Imam, we hold him great in our eyes. We revere him. We place him dear to our hearts. Number one, they were thirsty for ranks, a high rank, before they came to be the Imam. Number two, Zionism has a hand in everything that demolishes the foundations of Islam. Anything you see wants to attack Tawheed, wants to attack Nubuwa, wants to attack Imama, you understand there has to be a way. Otherwise, if Imama was there, what threat would it bring? It would bring no one threat except to the oppressor, except to the tyrant, except to the person that does not want people to live a free life. Sahab al Asr al Zaman is our Imam. And on this day, we send him our condolences on the martyrdom of, of his father, Amir al-Mu'mineen Ali ibn Abi Talib. And inshallah, in the coming night, we shall be opening this profile of understanding Sahab al-Asr al-Zaman more and our duty towards him. However, before I conclude, brothers and sisters, young and young, we're all young here, inshallah. One way you can prove the existence of Sahab al-Asr al-Zaman to any Muslim, why do I say this? Because the Christians believe in a savior. The Jews also believe in a savior. But the Imam is attacked by Muslims more than he is attacked by non-Muslims. Therefore, how can you prove to any Muslim the existence of Sahib al-Asr al-Zaman in a way that they cannot refute you, or reply to you, or doubt in your words, or call you a liar? Because today is a time where when, whenever you say something, they say, give us the evidence. Evidence, quick. Where did you get that from? If you say to them, I'll give it to you tomorrow, this is a fail on your, on your behalf. If you say, I'll send you to my sheikh, this here is a fail as well. Why? Because you who holds the identity of the Shia of Imam al-Mahdi, you should be able to prove the existence of your Imam. You should be able to do it. It should be as easy as Qulhu Allah Ahad. God is one, the Imam is here. It should be this easy. Brothers, take out your phones if you have them. Take them all out. I want you to write something. Or remember this if you don't want to take note of it. Proving the existence of Sahab al-Asr al-Zaman amongst us today is very simple. Number one, every Muslim accepts the Quran. Allah says in the Holy Quran, بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما خلقت الجن والإنس إلا ليعبدون I did not create I have not created man and jinn except to worship me what do we understand from this we understand number one Allah's aim and Allah's want Allah's aim is that I created for you to worship number two Allah wants us to worship. Clear? Now, Allah will not create something knowing that it would fail. Allah will not create something knowing it would fail. Therefore, Allah knows that when He creates us, we will worship Him. 
And Allah's wisdom requires perfect worship. Salah that is 100% complete and accepted. Because I said it's a two way process. Us dealing with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our worship is a two way process. One time we offer the salah, and one time Allah accepts it. One time we fast, and one time Allah accepts it. One time we repent, and one time Allah forgives us. It's a two way process. Therefore, we are in need of someone, a being, who can come and tell us that my salah and my siyam and my hajj and all of my a'mal are 100% accepted. We need this being. We need this being that satisfies Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his worship. Because Allah said, I created you to worship me, meaning worship me perfectly. If we cannot worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala perfectly, this entire world needs to cease to exist and vanish. It has to, because Allah is not being satisfied with anyone's worship. Therefore, this world is in need of someone whose worship and salat is 100% accepted by Allah. Therefore, who here can tell me my salat is 100% accepted? My siyam is 100% accepted. Who can tell me? Nobody. No one can tell me. Why? Because even the adhan is not the adhan of Allah. This adhan here is an estimation. Approximately. It is not the adhan of the samawat to begin with. Number two, even if we were to find out the exact time of adhan and offer the prayers, would we be able to say that I was 100% focused on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and my salam? Therefore we are in need of that being that because of him, our existence exists today. That being that satisfies Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his worship. And because of him, we exist today. And if it wasn't for him and his worship, there would be no need for this khalq. No need for this khalq. Second evidence, and I shall conclude with this, is that the Muslims that insult Sahib al-Asr al-Zaman say Sahib al-Asr al-Zaman will come to existence in the future, meaning be born in the future. Therefore, bring me this infallible that can exist today and tomorrow up until the end of time and give birth to an infallible. If you say the Imam will be existing in the future, you have a need to show me this infallible that will give birth to that infallible. Because you cannot give, him, give birth to an infallible if you are a sinner yourself. Therefore, these two methodologies are very simple and one can prove Sahib al-Asr al-Zaman to any Muslim that attacks him, attacks the Imam himself. And I conclude that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows us in the coming nights to be examining and taking a good look at the matter of Sahib al-Asr al-Zaman, his mission, his aim, what he eats, up until insha'Allah we reach a good result that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is satisfied with us in Australia, isolated from the world, remembering Sahib al-Asr al-Zaman, pledging our allegiance to him from the matam of his grandfather, Amir al-Mu'mineen, salawatullahi alayhi. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept your patience. Allah wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alibayt wa tayyibin al-Tahir. Allah wa sallallahu ala